So bless up my viewers, welcome back to the channel. I want to know if you just continue to like, share, comment and subscribe. But we are getting to this afternoon news, straight into it. Three shot in Waterhouse gunfight. Three men were shot and injured in an alleged confrontation with the members of a security force in Waterhouse in Tanjo. On Wednesday evening, the incident happened about an hour ago during a police military patrol in the area. The men have been taken to hospital, head of the St. Andrew South Police. Division Superint Superintendent Kirk Ricketts say the team was attacked by armed men doing a routine patrol in the Gullibank area of West Bay Farm Road. More details to come. So, them no feel like say if them attack the police, a data go go on my viewers. Them no know that. You can't come out on the winning end with the, J the JDF or the JCF. Update on Mr. Andrew Olness. Olness asks security boss to help Popcorn. Prime Minister Andrew Olness has intervened to assist dancehall artist Popcorn to deal with issues he faces clearing immigration overseas. He has asked the National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang and the Commissioner of Police Major Anderson Anderson to review the situation with a view to help the facilitate his ease of travel as the entertainer. Information Minister Robert Nesta Morgan gave the update in a tweet post Wednesday evening. The development, the development follows news hours early that an international criminal police organization, Interpol, Green Notice Alert authorities too. A drug-related conviction may have triggered immigration issue forced by Jamaica dancehall artist Popcorn in the UK on Tuesday. A green notice according to the global body is issued to members, countries to provide warning about a person criminal activities where the person is considered to be a possible threat to public safety. The lawyer Bert Samuels has ascertained that for some time now his client has been subjected of questioning by immigration personnel in the UK to what he say is a red alert placed against his name by the Jamaica government. The Jamaica Constable Force say it has not issued a stop order for the artists. A statement is earlier from Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade, Kimani Johnson Smith, that said the government had nothing to do with the artist stop and check at the airport in London. She said Popcorn has been released. Samuel, however, is rejecting claims that the government has nothing to do with the British immigration authorities dealt with his client. It is obvious that it is not a British problem. So who is it? Let the jury come in with the verdict, he said. Nothing that is was obvious. Who was, he argued, that his client in UK visa would have been revoked if the British government had fought with him. The Jamaican police say Interpol is in the green notice on the entertainer in 2015. It was reconfirmed in 2018. Popcorn, whose real name is Andre Sadanan, was convicted in 2019 in Barbados for possession of marijuana and subsequently dropped Deported to Jamaica, he was again arrested in Barbados in 2011 for possession of cocaine, the JCF said in a statement on Wednesday. Arising from those arrests and other intelligence gathered, a green notice was generated. Is The JCF say a notice does not request any specific law enforcement action to be taken against the subject. It's merely a as an adversary to local law enforcement that the subject of the notice has been in contact with the law somewhere else. Jan Homer viewers, this is a different popcorn right now.
Indicom probing fatal shooting of man believed to be unsound mine in Portland. The Independent Commissioner of Investigation Indicom is probing the fatal shooting of a man said to be of an unsound mine by the policemen in Snow Hill, Portland on Tuesday. The deceased has been identified as 22-year-old Kimani Price. The police reported to Indicom that the policeman was at the front of his house when he was allegedly attacked by Price with a knife. It was further stated that the cop received an injury to one of his thumb during the altercation and in response to discharge his firearm in the direction of the man. Price was conned and was subsequently transported to Port Antonio Hospital where he died later. Indicom say it is processing the scene and collecting forensic exhibits including the weapon and the service firearm of the policeman. It says he provide an initial account of the incident to the commission and investigation team and was served with a notice to provide a statement and visit the commission to be interviewed. Viewers, continue to like, share, comment and subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so you'll be first among the few to be updated when a new video has touched the